Okay, so no introductions or options, but still like, share, subscribe if you want to, and links to scores about down below all the videos and the news articles towards this talk about it because that's crazy. I know it's happened like four days ago, but it actually happened long enough. It happened like in March or April, but I only heard about it on Tuesday, so really late to the drama, but it's not even not that drama at all. You know, it mainly had to do with the other dudes, not that much. And this time it was actually innocent. Even they talked all the shit on the internet and talked this and talked that. That's how a lot of big time influencers are. But anyways, Mr. Beast dude, man, because he reveals his, <clears throat> reveals his brand new show. Yeah, it's thrilled fans as he reveals Cat's biggest video show ever. So I'm seeing him bald one. But, um, I'm just going to play the clip thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it thinks the part where um, this guy, aka Charlie, more is critical than Charles White Penguins. He doesn't need no introduction to do That's 16, 17 million plus subscribers and counting. And I watch him like maybe once or twice out of the month, maybe a week. If I decide to see any of that drama is hilarious or not. There was another one about low tier guy. I didn't feel like talking about that one though, but. Anyways, links to switch balls down below. I'm just going to play in the background. What's up, bro? How are you, dude? I like your videos, dude. I, I, I know you talk some <laughs> but everybody hates Logan Paul. Is everyone around Logan just a fing idiot? I'm always super happy that people don't take it personally. I know. Okay, I know. Thank God. I understand him. Yeah, I'm here to be a bro. So good to see you, bro. And also, Prime's pretty fire. Thanks. Bro. Not allowed to say that on camera. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Fuck, bro. Good luck today, right? Yeah, likewise, bro. Yeah, likewise. likewise. People are already. <laughs> I'll leave the link to the full thing. Switch balls below. Man. Some people are saying, oh, the dude folded. He, he got cold feet. Like, he could just fall him right there. Are you kidding me, man? He would have got freaking destroyed. You know, I know. You already know how it was when it comes to this channel about Logan Paul. J. Paul, to me personally, they're just cancerous, infectious pieces of crap on the internet. Deserve to like, get crapped on whenever they do something wrong. Especially the whole crypto thing, man. <laughs> I ain't going to get into that. <laughs> the whole crypto zoo scam that that dude Coffee Soul is just destroyed. That fool Paul. And try the prime drink. Oh god, the only one that's actually good is the one that's the freaking um, red, white, blue, like the popsicle one. Everything else, uh, that one the blueberry. The only reason I decided to drink that because the other do KSI was the one that helped making that drink too. So, anyways, um, there's a whole bunch of videos of this guy, man, a whole bunch of them. And the other do Keemstar. He says, Moist Critical Falls in front of Logan Paul after making videos talking crap about him. Prime's pretty fire. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? <laughs> it's pretty fire. I'm not allowed to say that, am I? I'm not going to lie, because there's like 15 or 20% of the time I disagree with this dude. I know he has 16, 17 million subscribers. Charlie, much good point. The only two times I kind of disagree with him the most is when it comes to stuff about... Uh, and then does those little cringy references about fucking Spongebob and Naruto. I mean, I love the shit of Naruto. I'm going to run that in Shippuden. And the greatest top three, top four anime manga series in the freaking world, in my opinion. But anyways, um, I'll play a little bit of Kirby music in the background. Anyways, as far as everything else goes, Matt, it's crazy. Man. And then number two, I don't like when he says stuff like the deep state. And he makes fun of a lot of conspiracy stuff there. And that shit pisses me off a little bit, not in line, because me personally, I believe like 70-80% of that stuff. And I don't like it when he starts mocking and crapping on stuff like that. That that one irritates me a little bit. And that's why I gotta fucking draw the goddamn line. It's like, nah, mm -mm. nah, that's a big no-no, bro. I'm sorry. I know he's not gonna see the video, but he ever does, man. I'm sorry. I'm starting to train that. Oh, I'm being a hater, and it's because he has more money and fame and clout than I'm not. It's all good. I totally understand him. What he's going on, man. I know he's got that dry comedy crap in my the seventy-five percent of the stuff. Yeah, you know he's he's a funny dude. Funny ass I'm not for him. <laughs> so let's get on this one. Mr. Beast is known for his big bull shows online, but could be the biggest one yet. The influencer has promised his upcoming great projects with most of his portfolio, and yet has not even a few of his friends involved on that. I'm talking about this dude in a while, Jimmy Donaldson. So this is on Wednesday, June 5th, the social media star group got his fans into a frenzy, revealed his biggest video ever, and just wrapped up filming it. He's from 50 of the most famous faces on content. And a sense of leader post on X, aka known as Twitter, he thanked 50 big name influencers who appear in the video. Twitch star, I don't know who that is, Ibaya Lalos, Lanos, is one of the guests list and posted to X that he finished filming on the video, but he couldn't say anything about him on the project. Mr. Beast responded, saying, quote, It might just be the greatest video he ever made. The video was set to drop on July 13th. 
with the influencers saying that it would take a quote entire month to edit them. And then he is even more to come. He has even more to come. Mr. Beast soon will currently be casting the Beast Games competition, which is a pick contest against everyone set up against each other for five million dollar prizes. Series being shown on Amazon Prime. Oh yeah, spoilers. You might want to skip this part now because I'm gonna spoil the crap at a great time. I heard that that chick. Oh man, dude. I used to have a crush her back in there too. She's so freaking cute. Jaden Animations is the one that wins it. And I heard she ends up donating the money to like an art school to some of her subscribers. It's pretty wild. So it says, um, <clears throat> what is it about? The short answer is that we don't know, but Instagrammers have been taking the shared glimpses of their photos. There's a lot more over. Kai Snap posted her photo of the Instagram story folder footage of themselves stuffing rods of cash down his pants. Are being betrayed by fellow star Ludwig. Ludwig also also a tidbit in the project, saying that bringing a little something back alongside the with him. <laughs> the photo briefcase of presumptuous cast. And these are all the other ones that are here, and they need an introduction, especially those four. And Kai Sinek, Kai Sai, Logan Paul, Logan. Oh, Pokemon, that's gonna be. I don't know who this is. I haven't seen this dude since 2015. Laser Beam, still around? Dang. Mark Proper, Sam Colby, of course, the guy who met him with love himself. The one that says, Oh, yeah, so that's about it. See you. That guy. <laughs> Marquise Brown Lane. I know that's a very, very ginormous YouTuber. I think he reviews everything Samsung, iPhone, sort of like technology stuff. And Jay Schlein, I only heard about this dude last year. He's more like Jun Zeers. I think he's a Minecraft dude. I know he got a bunch of drama. I'm excited now to talk about it. Now. I don't know who that is. Or that either. I think it was from the face clamp thing. You know, I want that too. I only heard about this dude two weeks ago. I decided not to talk about him. Oh, I've heard about her, man. Oof, in a good way, though. Valkyrie, Valkyrie. I didn't get three videos on the truck. Very, very so strangely. I'd simp the hell out of that one if I was like a Gen Z or dude, anyways. Let's move on. Michelle Crane. I don't know if that's Karan or Karane. Nick DiGivona, Lexi Rivera, Jaden Animations. I remember her. I haven't seen her since the old school TikTok days, 2019. Bella Porch. I only heard about this dude last year. He's a funny guy that does the creations of inventions and all that stuff. He's like the I did a thing dude, Michael Reeves. All the game theorists came through. I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who Carrie Manent or Animex is. AJ Shiro, Ilba. Anime. I don't know who that is. Could be the anime man? Someone? I don't know. Destroyer. Oh, I haven't seen that chick in a long time. Quetable, Destroying, Lily Pichu. I haven't seen Lily Pichu in forever. Odds One Out came back. That's cool. Jack's Films, the one that was drama last year. Neil Odea. I only heard about him last month or two ago. I think he's like a. I'm not sure from like South America or India somewhere. And, oh, I forgot about this for Jiddy. I thought it was going to be a Christian evangelical YouTube, but what happened there, man? That's some worldly sinful stuff, but whatever. I'm not here to judge. And there's all the people there, Logan, I, I, I don't really care for any of these dudes, honestly. And the most girl the dude's funny as heck, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, thoughts, views, opinions, speculations, I think it's really crazy how these, these big giant influencers are just getting a whole bunch of stack tip for tech to like, a whole bunch of drama just because, oh, they decided to shake hands and fist bumps and all that other stuff like the video I played you earlier. And then at least he was a grown ass responsible adult in the real world. Showing a lot of his, most of his fans are Gen Z or kids, obviously. They probably kiss his ass all the freaking time. I don't, because I'm like way older than He's like 29, 30. He's way, way extra old as shit. <laughs> in the myth of this. And it's a good example to show people that yeah, you don't fight people fist to fist if you have a disagreement or an argument or something. You know, nowadays in this country, it's very, very bad. I'm not even into politics, but people sometimes use firearms and. You know, um, stabby stab things if all situation goes bad. You should never ever do that ever in the moon, so unless you want to go to prison and jail. You're gonna be fucked up the ass. Shut up a poop. It's so many analogies I could use. I'm not gonna feel safe. Anyways, this is two other little dramas I wanted to talk about really super fast. <laughs> they were funny to me personally. I should have called this one drama. I mean, it's just this virtual YouTuber legend bridging humor and contemporary references. I don't know what this anime series is. This is um, yeah, Legend Anime Sparks. After what Ronaldo's viral gesture has a reference. Yeah, hey, credit card is doing this one. Um, Steve Johnson. I'm Otaku. I haven't referenced him in a few months. 
The virtual VTuber legend Anna made their debut in July 7, 2024, surprising many with instant popularity despite <laughs> the still competition for the anticipated returns of the series title of season 2, Oshi and Kyoto. Quote, what a set of virtual VTuber legends apart, what sets it apart is a depth and corporation of humor and numerous references, particularly notable not to real life involving Aliana Soccer Group. Cristiano Ronaldo <laughs> in June 21, 2021. Episode 1 introduces Yuki Tanaka, a 20 year old former office worker who joins Live One, a prominent YouTuber company in Japan. Uh, so they're making fun of like Hollow Live and Ninja Sons, I guess. I'm not. Maybe shows it. Her unexpected viral success propels her into a new career as an unfiltered YouTuber navigating complexities and unexpected turns of online fame. <laughs> This one reminds me of that Kira Nakoko trick, the one that was Kason before. That's cool. Oh, and then this other girl. It's very, very ginormous. Huge, for, not virtual VTuber, Twitch streamer. And the Twitch streamer, I, mean, I don't know what happened, but oh, something happened to one of her eyeballs, man. And I was like, how the hell did this happen to your face, dude? And it's sad because, not say I don't like, love this trick or like I'm simping for the trick because. Man, that happened to me. Honestly. Yeah, it's a huge shame what happened to this chick, bro. Now, this this girl's really, really funny. So she's super unexpected, super. I know she acts super shy all the time, but it's funny, though. <laughs> and it's hilarious, man. I know she's a little bit of a clumsy chick, but she's funny. I never just had nothing but not nice things to say about the people. You know, she's way in the line. She's like 9 years old. This is a 26 or 27. But man, I don't know what happened here. Oh, dude, I wish her a speedy recovery because that shit looks like it. it's painful as hell. I know she used to do a lot of cosplaying. I think she still does a lot of Genshin parts with her side and Zen Zone Zero. It's like a lot of anime gotcha games. You know, you know how I feel about that. That's kind of stupid. So, and that's it. Talk to you soon. No, talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah.